U.S. health officials are monitoring a mysterious respiratory illness infecting children all throughout China. States like Massachusetts and Ohio are reporting high numbers of similar illnesses in kids. But at this time, health experts say the cases are not linked to China. Rebecca Castor has more from Washington. Videos of packed hospitals in China have U.S. health officials on alert. The scene is reminiscent of peak COVID-19 pandemic days. But the World Health Organization, trying to squash fears, says China has not reported any new or unusual pathogens. I think it's the fact that China had these big lockdowns last year, and now that they're opening up, more, more bacteria and more viruses are circulating. We know, of course, winter is when respiratory illnesses rise, but in the U.S., some states are also seeing a rise in sick kids. In southwest Ohio, hospitals have reported at least 142 cases of a pneumonia called white lung syndrome since August. And in Massachusetts, doctors are warning of a rise in walking pneumonia. With concerns for pneumonia, we're worried about breathing faster than normal, productive cough where you're producing the mucus, with that cough, uh, trouble breathing. In a statement, Ohio health officials say there is, quote, zero evidence of this outbreak being connected to other outbreaks, either statewide, nationally, or internationally. And most cases can be treated with antibiotics. Meanwhile, the CDC warns COVID-19 is still their biggest concern. Even though those are both going up and we're at the peak of RSV, COVID is still the respiratory virus that is putting the most number of folks in the hospital and, and taking their lives. And this month, schools across the country can order free COVID-19 tests, courtesy of the Biden administration, to ensure schools can stay open this winter. In Washington, Rebecca Castor, Fox 32 Chicago.